Hey, what's up everyone? Fast Eye Baller here. We are now in this second game for this November 20, 2022 NBA game day. So we're now on this game between Charlotte Hornets with their record of 4 wins and 13 losses visiting Washington Wizards displaying a record of 9 and 7. The game will be at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Class I Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Let's uh, take a quick look of, on the spread of this on this particular game. It is, it is actually still at minus 6, and that's actually given towards the home team, Washington Wizards. So let's proceed and let's take a look at the uh, rankings or um, standings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Now, starting off with Washington Wizards, they are ranked number six. They're actually doing great, you know. I said I said great because this is something that I did not expect from them. Um, they are having a record of nine and seven, ranking at number six. That this is actually this is actually great for a team like them, right? Now for uh, their opponent, Charlotte Hornets, they are at number 14 in the East with the record of 4 wins and 13 losses. Right, so Washington Wizards would have the full court advantage of this. Um, in terms of momentum, obviously Washington Wizards got it because uh, they're coming off that, uh, that clutch win. Uh, I don't know if you were able to watch that game, but uh, Kyle Kuzma uh, nailed that 3-point shot in the corner. but. Aside from that, uh, I also like how Beal found Kuzma. Normally, maybe take it three, four years back, it, it would be Beal who would take that shot, regardless whether there's an open teammate or what. Now, it shows the maturity of Bradley Beal, and it shows the uh, how prepared Kuzma is and how clutch this team could be. Now, for uh, Charlotte Hornets, just like what I said, they have been, uh, you know, they they have been struggling in um they are on back-to-back -back losses approaching this game in terms of um in terms of fatigue well, both teams are coming off rest they did not have any game last night so let's proceed with the availability or health for washington wizards um a right is still not uh, available uh, he would be out for quite some time and we got morris and goodwin listed as questionable now looking at uh, Charlotte Hornets, I see four names down here. Um, Dennis Smith Jr. and Mark Williams, both listed as questionable. And we have Lamelo Ball and Cody Martin confirmed out for this game. So obviously with that said, Washington Wizards would have the advantage because Lamelo Ball, arguably uh, the best player of Charlotte Hornets, is still not available. And Dennis Smith Jr., the one who was actually helping them out, with those few wins that they got, is it still not sure whether you know whether he would be able to suit up and play for them later on? Um, it's it's tough to see Charlotte Hornets to struggle like this. You know, um, they're struggling because of their injuries. Really, um, I'm pretty sure that if Lamelo Ball was available, um, at least ninety percent of their games, along with uh, Cody Martin and also Dennis Smith. Man, Dennis Smith, I thought that. He would be this would be his season you know but he got you know he got sprained and um, he's now missed i don't know maybe three four games um and hopefully he would be back he'd be back soon um as charlotte hornets they have been struggling because of the injuries uh they they don't have any rhythm so yes some there there are games or in you know they would actually make a comeback um but really they couldn't you know they couldn't close the game properly washington wizards uh i can see that they're starting to really get along um bradley beal and uh, christoph Sprzingis, those two can actually give them automatically 50 points in a night now not only that they're actually being supported by kushma uh they're you know off the bench they got gafford um they got you know <coughs> they got barton so there are a lot of players that washington wizards can rely on to they the defense or offense this team is well balanced and this team is actually good they can actually compete in a series like in a seven game series i'm pretty sure that they can actually compete um minus six i'm gonna side with washington wizards on this unfortunately charlotte hornets 
can't really you know can't really figure it out without Lamelo Ball. It's a good thing that they now have they now have Gordon Hayward. At least they have that they have a good source of offense. But I don't think that will be enough to actually take Washington Wizards down or to at least uh, cover the spread of six points. My pick: Washington Wizards minus six. Wizards minus six. Peace out. Pass love and God bless.